right guys, uh, having a good good day out on Lake of the Woods and one of the things uh, that I love about living here is, is the excellent walleye fishing and I'm keeping a few for my wife and I to have for dinner. So just, you know, growing up around the lake, um, most of us learn to clean walleyes at a young age, but in case you haven't done it before, uh, these things are actually about as easy as it gets to clean as far as fish go. They, they don't have a lot of bones in them and uh, I'm gonna show you how I do it. There's sort of two different ways. Been, they've been messed with already a little bit, probably. Come here, buddy. Sweet. Yeah, nice one. Just falling her to the bottom again. All right, we, won't, we figured those out. Let it get to the bottom. Shake that little hula stick around. Bingo. Sweet little walleye right there. Heard of them down here under us. A pike. I don't know. Walter. A little bit of a big one. Probably to keep, maybe. Yes. Yeah, I think it's quite big. Um, I do it a little bit different than a lot of people do, so I'm going to show you how I do it and then show you the more sort of general way. So I like to start just cut along the belly, just like that. So I've, then I've got an even base of, of my fillets. Just going to cut right there along the, just behind the gill plate. And then I'm just gonna go along his back and feel for the rib bone. And then when I get past the ribs, I push the knife right through. And then I'm just gonna go back and just carve around the rib cage. And this is, this is kind of how I learned how to do it. And it's, I'm fairly, you know, probably above average at cleaning them. But uh, if you're having a contest, when I used to work at a lot of the resorts, that wasn't the way to win the fastest fish cleaning contest, but it's an easy way to do it. Then you don't have to cut the ribs out after you uh, have your fillet kind of separated. So just feel along the ribs, and then when you get to the end of them, push that knife through, and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty easy way to do it. I'm just cutting along, around the ribs here now, and you just kind of pull and peel, and that's it right there. Didn't waste anything. And then before I fillet them, uh, I like to just cut out the little Y bone right there. It's just one little strip of bones. And then you kind of have a good looking fillet after as well. And then I'm cleaning these on the lake. So we got to leave a piece of skin to identify them. Uh, so we'll do that. And uh, that's it. Good to go for dinner this evening. So. That's pretty quick and easy. I'm gonna get this one done and then I'll show you the other way you can clean a walleye. Okay, so that was, that was the way I do it. I'm gonna show you the way that most people learn how to clean them. So same thing, sort of cut along the belly and then uh, up the side. And then instead of just cutting around the ribs, I'm actually gonna just cut through the kind of main bone. And then there's your slab. And I just have that little strip of ribs right there to clean out now after. So it's basically a similar way to do it. I just 
save myself having to cut that little strip of ribs out after, but it's pretty quick, pretty easy, and uh, that's really the only bones that you're gonna find in a walleye, so. There's no excuse to ever um, get a bone with these things, that's, a, that's for sure. And then yeah, again, if you're transporting them, leave a piece of skin on there, and then you can identify the species.